Then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times. And think to yourself, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's, there's no, no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh, you want to do it and do Laura's theme first? Okay. Carol, you got to be together. Look. When some people see Carol or Barbara, all they see is their disability or their blindness. These ladies are so much more. Okay, I'll show you where my room is. I got a closet. It's like anybody else does. Because that's my bed. I got stuff in here. Yeah, but a girl's room clothes and stuff. Everybody's got pictures of rock stars. I got I got camp stuff out here. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the difference. I like my sports teams. Not Barbara doesn't, but I do. So we're different. We've been blessed to have them as residents of North Coast Community Homes for almost a decade now. Having a safe, comfortable, nurturing home tailored to their special needs and special gifts, a place they can truly call home where each sister can create and express herself musically, you really can't place a dollar value on that. Because you know it's all about the bass, about the bass, no treble. It's all about the bass, about the bass, no treble. There was a time in Jimmy's life when I realized that he couldn't live in our house. I'm not equipped to handle him and take care of him and give him the things he needs. And so we placed him in a institutional setting, and it was pretty bad. He was unhappy. We'd bring him home for a day or two, and when we would take him back, he would cry and he would wet his pants. I would practically cry, dropping him off. So when he was at this other other location, we tried to bring him home as often as we could, uh, kept him as long as we could. So we moved him, and it's been wonderful ever since, just because. It's warm and it's close and it's not institutional like and he's happy. We bring him home when we go out to dinner. He can't wait to get in here. He runs, he hugs, he's laughing. And as I say, when he's happy, I'm happy. They have a home. You want your family member to have some place that they can call. Family member. Uh, so, uh, ah, plus, member. in addition, I'm Wait. his guardian when my mom is no longer here and I don't know what I would do if there wasn't the North Coast, I don't know if I'd be equipped to take care of someone like him. I'm 81, I know that I'm not gonna live forever. I'm comfortable with him in a place like this. I didn't know that a North Coast Community Homes existed. I'm so grateful that there is a place for Jimmy to go other than an institution because years ago that's all there was. You wanna sing, Jim? You wanna sing? You are my... Sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are <laughs> That's it. Sunshine. He's done. <laughs> Caitlin's 12. She's intellectually disabled. We have another few years in the school system, and then the options for Caitlin are frankly unknown. Just as any parent of a high-functioning child, I want her to be safe and grow. She has dreams, just like everyone else. She tells me she wants to grow up to take care of kids, be a teacher, or even a country music singer. As she strives for independence, I wonder, what does that look like for her? When she becomes an adult, where will she find independence and a place of her own that she can call home? Can we go home now? There's a reason why the work North Coast Community Homes does is important to people's lives. 
People with developmental disabilities and severe mental illness need our support. Just imagine living in noisy, unsafe, damp, or even moldy housing. These conditions would affect anyone, not just those with mental illness. People in temporary or poor housing are three times more likely to develop depression and anxiety. People deserve a better life than that. Home is our safe place at the end of the day. For me, home is a place so comforting, so settling and deeply familiar. It becomes part of who we are. And that is exactly what we want for the people we serve too. Home is the place where we can be our best selves, our most creative, and I think our most loving selves. That is what motivates me and the North Coast team, that sense of purpose that propels us to work every day to serve the more than 700 persons in need in the 200 plus homes that we provide in Northern Ohio. Because every child, able or disabled, has an innate desire to grow up, independent, have a home, and a life of their own.